I love stress. Jason, what the hell are you talking about? Do you know our immune system loves stress? Do you know mentally we love stress? Do you know when we exercise, we stress out our bodies and we create endorphins? Do you know when you do a cold plunge or a sauna, extreme stressing your body out in the cold or the hot, that it builds resilience in your immune system? Do you know that being stressed out and talking to a therapist and working through your feelings will lead you to clarity? Mindfulness practices. Do you know that being mindful will get those distractions out of your head and, and having that discipline, which is a form of stress, discipline is stress, creates this beautiful, just, and have you ever met somebody that, that is just like meditates a lot and, and they, they're just very mindful and very present and, and it's almost like just super peaceful? feels like there's just birds tripping around and then you're in a beautiful English garden. Stress is great. Stress is not something that you need to look at it as experiencing it in a bad way. Stress can motivate you. It can motivate you to the point of where it can make you better. It will level you up if you allow it and understand what it is. Stress. Oh, I'm feeling a little stressed out. Why? Why am I feeling stressed? Because I'm uncomfortable and I don't think technically I know how to do this at my work. Okay, it's time to level up, motherfucker. That's what I tell myself. Time to level up, Jason. Let's go. What is it going to take? Okay, I'm going to write this all down. I'm feeling stressed. Why am I feeling stressed? Oh, I feel distracted and I've got this and I got this and I, I'm really uncomfortable with this and I don't understand this for this project. Okay, well, let me gain some clarity on the project. So let's roll. And that's what I do. I, I, I write a list. My notepad's right here. I write a list out of things that I need to do to level up. It's time to level up. Stress, level up. Stress, level up. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about like stress in the sense of physically and mentally. And, and, and mentally, we know we experience the stress. I think mental part is more than the physical. And a lot of times the mental is because our ego's not wanting to do it. It wants to play comfortable. And, and I'll use this prime example. Your body does not want to go in a cold plunge, does it? It will tell you that your ego will tell you how horrible that cold plunge is going to feel. And, and it's going to feel like little ice stabbing you in every part of your body. And, and it's going to be so cold. What is cold? What is cold? It's not going to hurt you. It, it, and mindfulness practice, Wim Hof's talked about this, by if we can calm our mind and do practice, we can actually slip right into an ice bath and not even, you know, be in ha, 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 all that. It's amazing how if we get our breath work right and we become present, how easy it is to handle stress. So I encourage you, this is a short podcast today. I, I wanted you to understand this. That whenever you're feeling stress, it's an incredible motivator. Use the stress. Become proactive with the stress. Allow it, if you're self-aware enough, allow it to be a catalyst for you to be able to level up. Thank you for joining us on the Albuquerque Business Podcast. And thanks to our sponsor, RigbyDigital.com. Make sure to subscribe and share. And go to ABQPodcast.com. Get show notes, resources, and links to everything we talked about today to help you navigate your journey as an entrepreneur and business owner.